Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Stellaris. So right now, we're just trying to get the energy credit deficit under control, and I'm trying to build more power generation in response to that. Right now, we kind of have a shortage of population here, but we do have some population migrating in and what have you, so that's good to see. We'll be able to take advantage of that. So I could plop Percent down complete. a robot here to work stuff, but of course that would consume energy credits. All right, so let's take a look at, okay, Empire Leader Capacity, um, Clone Army, don't care, don't care. Border Range may help, because there are some things that were formerly in my Empire that we've lost control over. For instance, this planet here and some of these planets. But that push may cause some border tension with the Fallen Empire before I'm ready. But I have to research it first and we want a war anyway. Might be worth it. But it definitely is a risk because you can see how close the borders are. 10% increase might be enough to start a war again. Um, I'm going to do it. But... We'll have to just cross our fingers that it doesn't end up bad. Okay. Let's go ahead and continue here. All right. So right now... System survey complete. How is that one faction doing? Oh, wow. They're about to pop. And honestly, I'm going to let them pop. Because I've tried everything I can to manage the faction. Uh, I've tried integrating them. I did that as far as I could. Nothing happened. I tried doing suppress and get that it lowered. It just really didn't work. But, I, you know, I kind of wanted to find out what happened anyway, just out of my own curiosity. So I think I'm going to let it uh, trigger here. All right, so nothing resource-wise here that we can build. And that construction is now over, so you, as a construction ship... The construction ships are over here. Probably only one of them is actually controlled by me. Let's have you come over here, just come into orbit here, and just wait in case we have more damage over here that we need to repair. Construction complete. All right, that was over on test. And that was the last upgrade here. So I'm getting the deficit under control. It used to be a lot higher than it is now, but keeping in mind that my fleet is now in a harbor, and I am building more ships. So as soon as they leave the uh, dockyard, complete. I'm going to have a lot more energy credit loss than I have right now. So that's something to keep in mind. Over here is where we're really trying to improve because we have room to do so. A lot of my other planets, I really don't have that room or I'm already really producing a lot. What I'd like to do over here is um, I already have a power hub, but I'd like to build another power generation building. I'm going to wait until this is finished. Might as well speed things up. All right, so we've hit the cap here. Um, the fleet, I think I was planning on building more destroyers and corvettes, so we'll go ahead and queue that up. So we need... This spaceport is the destroyer assembly yard. Um, I think we have how many ships in the fleet? We have 20. Let's get that up to... I'll build five. I'm going to be a little bit conservative for right now. So that was here. Build five destroyers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I need more cruisers, I think. Not cruisers, corvettes. Uh, we're at 17. I'm going to go crazy here, and I'm going to build 13. Corvettes are pretty cheap anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, it counts for me. Except you actually have to go. All right. 
So we need one more, and that should be 13. Because it uh, doesn't count the first one in the list. All right. That will consume some of the resources. Take a look at the... We might as well have time tick while System this is going on. Completed. Not quite that fast. And I do need to queue this guy to do more things, which is probably survey this system. Okay. And I don't... Yeah, there are some resources, so we'll just grab one of the construction ships, and we'll say build mining station. Thank you. All right. Um, what was I doing? I was doing... Oh, yeah, I was going through here, so we'll have time tick. And we were just giving minerals to anywhere that needs it. doesn't look like that many places need it, so... Get them all above 6,000. Starting to get to the point where my sectors are really not doing all that much for me. All right. We didn't used to have as much problem with energy credits as we do now because I've had to colonize some planets that we previously lost. Oh, did I never... Oh, okay. I never gave you a module, and you were supposed to take this module. There you go. You're about to pop out the upgrade to the administration building, which will allow us to upgrade other buildings. Alright. Oop. Rebellion. Okay. So, emboldened by popular support, the blank has taken up arms in an effort to take back their territory by force. Oh, System survey. you know what? I just realized I never disbanded my marines. But that's okay, um, because I have a feeling I should have probably thought where that rebellion was going on. Um, all right. Uh, I really honestly don't know now. Where's the Rebellion? It's gonna be on one of the planets that has Seergog population. <laughs> I honestly don't know where it's happening. It must have gotten crushed immediately. That plant's not been surveyed? Alright, well, I'll survey it later. Alright, you can come back into orbit over here. Alright. Well, I wish I had paid attention to where that uprising took place, but I have a feeling it's already over. Oh, anyway, I was gonna get rid of the Marines here, because they're probably costing me energy credits. Yep, they were. All right, so we're no longer in a deficit right now. complete. Which is good. And I think that faction is gone now. Yeah, they're gone. So... The Rebellion must have... What is this? There's this weird ring here. Is this a rebellion? What the heck is this? They have a frontier outpost, but it's within my space. I'm actually... Did my border just get... I think I just gained a bunch of territory. I didn't get that 10% thing, did I? No. What the heck just happened? My border just... 
jumped crazily. Uh, I don't know what happened here. But my border wasn't like this earlier. Huh. I was kind of wondering why there was this outpost here. I think the reason there's this outpost here is because this is now within my space, but it used to belong... Or am I just misreading... I'm misreading the borders, probably. Yeah, okay, because our colors are the same. But still, my border did push out quite a bit. Huh, okay. I'll take it, I mean, but... I'm a little confused. It must have taken a while for this border... Oh, what's going on here? Alright... So this is the Fallen Empire. So they don't like that we've encroached. So they probably want us to abandon a whole bunch of colonies again. This time it's only three, though. All right. I'm going to tell them no, but it looks like we're already going to be at war with each other. All right, so... I don't know what happened that suddenly my border pushed out like it did. Because I did not get any tech that should have done that. Yet. I mean, I was working on it. But it seems like my border presence really pushed out. Because I now have... This within my space, and I didn't have that before. Oh, huh. I'm just... I'm... I really don't know what's going on, honestly. Uh, with this sudden change. Alright, well definitely we need to get ready for war then. So I'm going to have to start building stuff to prepare for that war. And I think for sure it's going to be battleships. So right now my fleet is looking at 22, almost 23,000 strength. I do have better shields and stuff, so I couldn't can't upgrade designs. But I already have a bunch of construction queued up, I realize. Um, what we'll do is I'll upgrade the ship designs now, but I will upgrade ships that are currently in production later in case they don't are automatically get fixed. All right, so I'm just going through, and I'm seeing. Okay, so we have better computers. We're just going to take the defensive uh, positioning there. Okay. Now I go to weapons. I'm using lasers here still. And I think I'm at the be best point defense. Reactors, I'm using the best reactors, but I should have better shields now. Hyper shields. Okay, and I'm underpowered. And armor-wise, I'm currently using the best armor, but I will get better armor here in a second. Okay, so... This is a problem. We don't have quite enough power. And I would like not to have to get rid of Something. So, what is my other choices here for... We've got five small th slots, or we can do three and two, but then we only have one weapon. Which I don't really like. Alternatively, I could do small weapon slots. <laughs> and then this would possibly... I'm just going to preemptively do that. And we're going to take... For weapons... We're going to do one point defense. And... Through two lasers. But they're going to be of the smaller type. I have a feeling this is going to be even worse. Because again, I want armor... And I want shields. Yeah. And that's about the same, I think. It didn't really change much of anything. Well, we could... 
move that and then instead put more point defense. Uh, see, that doesn't change anything. They, they consume the same amount of power. How much power does torpedoes take up? 12.5 versus... Versus 10. So they take up more power. Wow, power point defense is uh, very uh, very uh, power consuming. If I do that, I lose out of the point defense. And I have to go with a single laser. But I gain the ability to have more power generation because they're medium sized reactors now. Then I can do hyper shields. armor and I have power left over so I can do another level of hyper shields matter of fact I can do medium sized hyper shields and then do that so this is a more defensive platform because we have the better shields, but we lose out on weapons. Of course, we also gain here with the advanced computer. Which does cost more energy. I think this is what we're going to do. So we lose a little bit on weaponry. But we gain in defensiveness. All right, we'll save it. Okay, next we need the destroyer. Probably going to have similar problems with this. Okay, so hyper shields. For now, obviously I'm going to have to change some things. Might be just as simple as doing that. Okay. I think weaponry-wise, we're pretty much good. I don't think we need to upgrade anything. All right, so this was an overall upgrade. I could actually even downgrade power to save cost. Okay, so the destroyer, we didn't have to modify that much. All right, moving on to the next design, which would be the cruiser. We already have the best weapons layout, or the weapon layout that I'd like to use. Let's put it that way. So mostly we're upgrading... The combat computer and the shields. And we're going to have to do this. Oh, maybe not that much power is needed. This slot? Yeah, it was that slot. There we go. So we get better shields and we get a better combat computer. And then finally we have the battleship, which we're going to want to produce here soon. All right, power's a little bit more tight on this one, uh, but I think we can make do. So, go again, upgrading the computer. I could remove this thing. What this does is it prevents them from being able to jump out. And that would save me some power, because power usage is 200, geez. All right, well, we'll keep it for now. Um... You know what? That actually would make my battleships a lot more powerful because I could put more shields and stuff on them. Yeah, let's do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to clear out all of this. And we're going to... I guess I'll use large reactors for now. But for shields... Boom, 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 boom. And then we do small for the armor. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Is one of these something that I could do that wouldn't... Yeah, they all consume a lot of power. That was a major flaw, I think, in the design of... the ship before. Alright, so now that we have... That's set up. I do have a little bit more power than I need, so I can just scale it down a little bit. 
Maybe use this level of reactor? No. One more. There we go. Alright, I think this will be a little bit more combat capable. A lot better defenses than the original ship design had. Okay, I didn't realize that this uh, module or slot costs so much energy. Alright. There is our design. So now, we go to test. And we build... Uh, I'm going to build four battleships. So one, two, three, four. And hopefully these get built before the war comes. Uh, because the battleships on their own are pretty darn powerful. I'm thinking about sending these over to another spaceport to be upgraded. Like if we send them over here. Have them come in here. Upgrade fleet. We lose a little bit of power. See, this shows you when they're out of uh, the spaceport or out of the out of orbit, they consume a lot of energy, or I should say, a lot more energy. Okay. We have unemployment. Let's take a look at that. So this is on this planet here, and that's the unemployed population. Well. First things first, let's build ourselves a... We have Batharian? Yeah, I have one Batharian. Probably because my borders expanded. I don't know where I got the Batharian from, but I got it from somewhere. Um, well, we're definitely going to take a Batharian power plant if we have the resources to do that. And then... You need to work somewhere, so we'll have you come over here. Probably did this out of order. I should have upgraded things first, but I will be upgrading all of the power plants that I can upgrade and the hub. And then I guess I might as well upgrade... The food production so we can grow as a colony and I'll worry about the other stuff later because I'm starting to run low on resources here all right and we're still building this so I can't upgrade anything just yet okay you're migrating stop it Okay. I think I'm going to crank up the speed a little bit here. Oh, actually, let's hold off on that. I have construction ships not doing things. And I do have resources probably recently gained from this border push. Although I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, these borders haven't pushed enough. And the surveys, I don't think, have unlocked anything just yet. Okay, so we'll just continue for now. Oh, we need to survey over here. Eventually. That's, I think that's where I got the Batharian, because of the border push. I actually gained territory from these guys. Construction complete. Okay. But I have more places to survey. Well, we'll get on that. I'm assuming that there's not going to be much here. All right, so again, um, I'm going to go ahead and get more unemployment. Where is the unemployment? Here. All right. Um, might as well work a building that's there. Rather than have population come into a building. Oh, and I didn't up. Oh, you'd upgrade. Okay. Well, um. I have population that's going to be popping out in areas that I don't have any buildings. I guess we can build a, a mining station network. 
I think power generation is still a big priority here. So I'm going to build a bunch of power plants here. They're going to be normal power plants because I don't I don't have any more than just one Batherian here. And we'll leave it at that for now. Okay. System survey complete. All right, so you're done with all your surveying of this stuff over here. Although we do have a planet over here that hasn't been surveyed. So get over there and survey that. And then when you're done there, come over here and survey this system. Okay. System survey complete. All right, so now we're just preparing for the conflict. Now, the problem is I will not be president when the war kicks off. So I won't be able to control the conflict. So, not great. They're upgrading. Everywhere else we're building ships. Research complete. Okay, what do we got? Got better power plants. Thank you. Okay, so. Faster fields are... Yeah, okay, I don't really care about the aura things right now. Alright, neutron torpedo... Okay, does a decent amount of damage. Got phase disruptor. What do these do? They don't do a lot of damage, but they... They do more damage to shields, it looks like. And it looks like I got this from the Fallen Empire. So that is a tech that they used against me. All right, so that yeah, it does do more damage than normal disruptors. I think I'm just going to take the building cost one. There's nothing else really jumped out at me as something that we definitely need. All right. Our other science ship finished its queue. So come over here and survey this system. And I think everywhere else has been surveyed, except also survey that system, so I don't forget. Okay. The only real resources we've grabbed is this here. And we've regained some resources that we previously had control over. Construction complete. Right? Oh, that's right. Upgrade time. Um, let's actually start with the Ethereum ones. And then we'll go on to the normal power generation. This should help dramatically. Again. Starting with the Pytherian plants. I forgot how many Pytherian plants were on this planet. This is that planet that I kept on to pretty much throughout the game because it was such an energy producer. Over here, we have some Pytherian plants as well. All of Almost all of my Pytherian plants are within these three planets. Okay, this is going to be super good for me, and this will allow me to maintain the fleet that I'm trying to build. Um, Alright. It looks like we can upgrade things further, but there's so many upgrades going on right now, it's kind of hard to keep track of it all.
but we'll do that for now. All right. Definitely good progress. And I think this is a good point to put a cut in the video. So definitely we're getting the energy deficit under control. I mean, yeah, we're not having a deficit right now, but as soon as the fleet starts moving and the fleet will get bigger, uh, it will be more of a problem. So we need to get that energy generation up, but it looks like we are about to do that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.